Monkeypox cases continue to climb along with the demand for the vaccine. There's nearly 1,900 reported cases statewide, and about 500 of those are right here in San Francisco. Yes, and a steady stream of people lined up for the monkeypox vaccine this morning at Zuckerberg General Hospital. Some actually got there before the sun ever came up, trying to get a shot. The clinic reopens tomorrow at 8 a.m. And aside from getting vaccines, there is some debate on how health officials should approach this virus. Yeah, and this is about messaging and reducing stigma about getting monkeypox. KPX 5 Sean Chitness is here to explain. Well, Ryan and Sarah, this is a balancing act because you want to make sure resources get to those who need them most quickly while also doing the work now to prevent monkeypox from spreading to more people who are less at risk later on. I touched another, another person's cheek. That's how it was transmitted to me. David Watson just came out of isolation from monkeypox. He showed us where he thinks he got the virus, near 19th and Castro in San Francisco, while hugging and kissing a friend for a few minutes. You could go to a dance party and have your shirt off and rub up against somebody who has an active lesion. That's all it took. He showed us the lesions on his hands that are healing which let doctors determine he can no longer spread the virus to someone else. There's a very big kind of controversy around that. It's acting pretty much at this moment like an STD. It's mostly in men. Infectious now, disease expert Dr. Monica Gandhi told us this week she does think of monkeypox as a sexually transmitted infection. She says the data shows the large majority of cases are men who have sex with men. Out of the multiple cases, 28,000 worldwide, about 99% of them are in men. It's acting a lot like an STD. On the other side of the debate, there are those who say the focus should not just be on gay and bisexual men. Their message, anyone can get monkeypox. We want to use harm reduction strategies to encourage people to limit their risk. They're not asking anyone to limit partners, but find ways to avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact until more people are vaccinated. Both my dogs got it from us. We have two we have two pit bulls and we did everything to try and isolate ourselves from them. Watson's husband and his dogs are still in isolation at home. It can't be the sole approach because it is transmitted through casual contact. And David tells us the dogs are doing all right, but of course concerned about them. Part of the challenge, though, is that limited supply of vaccines. So, Ryan and Sarah, you know, when we talk about getting access to those doses mm -hmm. just today, it's a Thursday, right? Reaching out to some of those different agencies, they still have no idea how much supply and how many doses they'll get for next week. Mm -hmm. That's so frustrating yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah, it's so contagious, too. Yes, a great example of just how easily someone can get it. All right, all right. thanks, Sean. Thank you.